We're here in St. Malachy's Dominican Priory, known locally as the Friary, made famous recently in a David Keenan song. The history of this community goes all the way back to the beginning of the 14th century, but it's a story that doesn't begin, in fact, in Dundalk, but on the other side of the Cooley Peninsula, in Carlingford. That's where this community was founded in the year 1305 by Richard de Burgo, the Earl of Ulster. And the magnificent ruins of that priory remain for all to see today. But of course, everything changed at the dissolution of the monasteries when King Henry VIII suppressed all the religious houses in these islands. Interestingly though, even though the friars had to leave their splendid home in Carlingford, they didn't leave the area they remained ministering in the region throughout the Cooley Peninsula. So in the 18th century, we find the friars ministering in places like Kilcurry and Williamstown and Haggardstown and Cooley and nearer here to Dundalk itself. Sometimes they work in groups, sometimes they work alone, but whatever they're doing, they're always at risk. The mayor of Dundalk in the year 1744 wrote to Dublin Castle offering to round up all of these friars, which shows the kind of risks they took as they ministered, but they managed somehow to keep going. Christina Rohan is a woman who knew the friars at this time, and she recorded her own memories of their work. She says they had no house or home. They slept and drank and ate wherever they got it. It was by the side of the ditch they used to say mass. One man who clearly acted as a leader during all this time, a leader of the community, was a man by the name of Father Dominic Thomas, who was the prior of St. Malachy's Friary, even when they didn't have a priory in which to live. He would have organized the work of the friars throughout this region, sending them out here and there to hear confessions, to celebrate mass in small station chapels by the side of the ditch and so on. One of the friars was spotted saying mass in a ditch by a local bigwig, Lord Hamilton. And Lord Hamilton was curious about what this community was up to. He wasn't opposed to them, in fact, even though he wasn't a Catholic himself. He invited Father Dominic Thomas to come and meet him. And initially, of course, the prior was, was terrified that they were going to be uh, sent away from the area. But in fact, Lord Hamilton offered him a linen factory on the site of the current priory and the friars were delighted to move in after decades even centuries of being homeless after such a long time of wandering finally they had a home they had a base they had a springboard for mission during all those difficult years what kept the friars going above all it was their love for the eucharist and the love of the people for the eucharist they knew how much the downtrodden Catholics in this area needed to encounter our Lord in his body and blood. And so they went hither and yon, celebrating the Mass. The community here is blessed to have in its possession a chalice made in 1721 for the friars here. This is a chalice that Father Dominic Thomas and the friars, they refer to themselves still as the friars of Carlingford, would have used in celebrating the Mass in dingy little chapels at the side of the road and now finally here in the glorious church of St. Malachy's in Dundalk. <laughs>